The Twins are still undefeated against the Royals. Now five games into the season series, they win today 8-6. to six. It was a really fun and exciting game that started in a rain delay, and then all of a sudden, two hours later, they say, let's get this game going. Uh, and I don't know if it was for the benefit of the Twins or whatnot, but... They get the win. They are now 16 and 11, and all of a sudden, the Twins have won, what, four of their last five games, and they beat the Yankees in that series. I'm just going to say that all year long. But the Twins get a big win today. They actually were out hit in this game 12 to 8. Um, but regardless, they made the most of their opportunities. They hit a couple of home runs. This was an exciting game to watch, so we're going to break it down here. If you guys are new here, I hope you enjoy these videos that I do every day about the Twins. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the content that I post about the Twins this year. So let's talk about it. Uh, I tell you what, Polanco is hot. Uh, Gallo hit a triple. When was the last time Joey Gallo hit a triple? I'm going to look this up right now quick. How many triples... Does Joey Gallo have in his career? He has, drum roll please, uh-oh, I got an ad. He has nine triples, and I don't think that includes today. So 10 triples in his career doesn't happen a lot, but uh, that was exciting today. Kepler also had a home run. Miranda had a home run. What was that, three or four home runs? Like I said, a lot happened. So let's break it down. This game started off in the top of the first inning. Bobby Witt Jr. hit a double off of Pablo Lopez. It was Pablo Day, and things were not looking too great. I'll be straight up because last time Pablo pitched, it was against the Nationals, who are pretty much identical to the Royals, and they scored four runs in the first two innings. Today, he gives up one run in the first, and it was just like, uh-oh, this is not great. But Max Kepler comes right back. I Was it the first pitch of the game? I don't think so. Gosh, I, I actually missed it. I was driving home from work. Uh, it was the first pitch of the game that Max Kepler hit a home run, his 15th home run from the leadoff spot, uh, and that went 412 feet. So right away, the Twins tied it. They got the lead in the second inning. And uh, let me go to the second inning. Oh boy, I hate MLBs. I still haven't figured it out. But in the second inning, uh, I messed up again. I'm, I'm going to blame MILB, uh, MLB's uh, stuff here. Uh, so in the second inning, Trevor Larnack leadoff walk. Jose Miranda double gallo walks, bases loaded. We're not going to talk about Christian Vasquez um, popping out with the Bases loaded and nobody out, but then Michael A. Taylor draws a walk and Cap, uh, Kepler uh, gives the Twins a 3-1 lead with a sack fly. So there you go. The Twins up 3-1, and then they start to unload the bats in the fourth inning. We scroll all the way down to the fourth, and ironically, the Royals got a run in that top half of the inning. So it was 3-2. Uh, to two. But there in the bottom of the fourth inning, Joey Gallo led off with the triple. Vasquez again pops out, but Taylor doubles. Uh, double? Did I say double? Okay, this is what this says. He doubled on a soft bunt ground ball. That probably will be changed. He did not double. He hit a he hit a safety squeeze. Uh, <laughs> okay, Kepler walks. Uh, Correa pops out, and Polanco comes up. Hits a home run, makes it 7-2. to two. They added one more in the fifth on a Miranda home run. It was 8-2. to two. But then the Royals came back. They added two in the sixth, two in the seventh. It was not enough, though. And I do want to talk about the pitching here in one second because that made this game a lot closer than it should have been. So to finish up the hitting, Kepler did really well today. Uh, Drew Walk also had uh, a 1-for-2 day with 2 RBI. Correa another 0-for-4 day, batting 195. Holy cow, that's bad. Polanco 1-for-3, batting 367, 3 RBI today. Buxton had a hit. Larnack had a 1-for-2 day. Uh, Solano and Castro came in a little bit later. Not going to mention them because they didn't do much. Miranda, two for four day with his home run. Gallo with the triple. And Vasquez, another 0 for four day there. Taylor, one for three, two RBI. So really good across the board. Like I said, 
This game and yesterday's game are comparable in the sense that mostly up and down the lineup, the Twins did really well when they needed to. They scored eight runs on eight hits. Like, that's production. That's really good. It was never really perfect, right? Like, they almost let the Royals come back in this game. They probably had a few more opportunities to score another run or two. They just didn't capitalize on. The pitching wasn't perfect, but they found a way to get it done. And it does help that it's against the Royals. Granke obviously is like 0 for 4. Uh, Lyles today 0 for 5. Both of them have plus 6 ERAs. The Royals have only won 6 games this year. It's really not something, nothing good is going on in Kansas City right now. But... The, 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 the things that I talked about that were good are lots of home runs. One, two, three home runs today. The triple is exciting. Uh, I mean, two out RBIs from Polanco, especially with his home run. That's good stuff, right? The two for seven runners in scoring position, still not great. That's the exact same as yesterday. I think they went three for seven. They didn't have a ton of guys in scoring position, but they executed when they got guys on. Okay, that's the main point that I want to mention. They only left four guys on base total. So uh, for the pitching side of things, it wasn't perfect, especially from Lopez again. He gave up all of the runs, all six runs, pitched into the seventh inning. What looked a little bit scary in the first when he gave up the run, like I said with the Nationals, gave up a couple runs there, really worked through it, gave up a couple of runs in the fourth and the sixth and the seventh, but uh, that, it didn't really matter. Um, I believe it was Jax who came into the game. I think he allowed the hit. Uh, that the runs were then credited to Pablo Lopez. Um, I guess I was turning the channel to a different game at this time, so that I did not get to see that. But I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Uh, I'm just double-checking this right now. Um, yeah, so the, at least the last runners. Um, yeah, Pablo Lopez was taken out for Jax. Then uh, Bobby Wood Jr. grounded into a force out, but a run scored. Uh, then the single from Perez. So the runs were credited to Pablo, but um, it was Jax who ended up giving up the runs. It really didn't matter, though, um, because they were able to get out of it. But, uh, and, and these numbers look a lot better on the box score than they did in the game. But, uh... He also struck out seven. I shouldn't say that. Pablo Lopez struck out seven. Uh, but Jax, one hit, two strikeouts, and one inning of work. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Field bar, one inning, two strikeouts, one walk, one hit. Doesn't sound too bad. Uh, same with Lopez, Jorge Lopez, uh, with two hits and one inning of work. But all the time with those guys uh, in the bullpen, runners were on base. I think even with Thielbar, uh, it was a 3-2 count where the bases loaded, or maybe there was just a couple guys on, but got a very questionable, very close strike call. It looked like a late strike three as well. The manager for the Royals gets tossed. The Twins get out of a huge jam and end up winning the game. Um, I mean, not probably because of it, but it really helped. Uh, so... Really good job by the Twins pitching to get out of their jams, even if they did get a touch of help from the umpire. Uh, so that was, you know, it is what it is. But uh, you move on. As a Twins fan, I'm happy about it. Uh, the Twins struck out 12 today, only walked two. Really good. Uh, yeah, they still gave up 12 hits, but they managed it. They had hits on their own when they needed it. Hit a lot of home runs. A lot of good things happening in today's game. So even with the rain delay, like I said, that, that might have caused some problems. Both teams allowed a run in the first inning, uh, so the nerfy did not hit. But, but uh, uh, it was a really good game, uh, so I'm glad the Twins won. Start a little winning streak here. They should sweep the Royals, I would think. There's no reason not to. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Leave your thoughts and comments down below, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.